Hey, what's guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're continuing in the series with the best SDS rotary hammers. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about the SDS Max Hammers, okay? So in case you've missed it, we've already done individual episodes of each of these tools and we tested them all through the tracks. You know, the standard track, we're using half inch bits. But on this episode, we're going to be stepping up to a one inch bit, right? So these are SDS Max Hammers, so they're really designed for bigger bits. The standard track that we have was really designed for SDS Plus Hammer and you know the SDS Max didn't really make a huge difference when testing a hole that small right half inch so this episode like I said we're gonna run the one inch bit on all three of them three times each take an average of the score and see how much of a bigger difference that makes among these hammers when you step up to the one inch bit right so if you want to know more about the performance of that stick with us All right, so those numbers went by really quick. Let's go take a look at the recap, all right? First, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Metabo HBT SDS Max Rotary Hammer using the four amp hour multivolt battery, which is a four amp hour battery in this tool, but an 18, uh, eight amp hour and 18 volt tool. So first run, 22.85, second run, 24.03, third run, 25.70. Average of three runs comes in at 24.19, okay? Moving up to the uh, Bosch SDS Max Rotary Hammer. Uh, this is the GBH 18V-45C using an eight amp hour Pro Factor battery. First run, 22.6, second run, 23.7, Third run, 24.62. Average of three runs comes in at 23.65, okay? Uh, taking a look at the Makita, which is the GRH05 in the US and everywhere else, probably the HR005, using a fully charged five amp hour battery. The first run was 18.93, second run was 20.15, and then the third run was 20.02. Taking an average of three runs comes in at 19.70 seconds, okay? So obviously the number is going to be pretty obvious here, but let's go take a look at the leaderboard, right? So the first is the Makita GRH05, then followed up by the Bosch, then the Metabo. Although the Bosch and the Metabo are pretty much close neck and neck, uh, you know, maybe if we count for, let's just say, you know, 
user margin of error or anything like that, then they're probably all going to be really close. The larger bit size you take into account obviously will probably provide a little bit bigger part of a difference, right? But in this case, you know, they're all pretty much relatively closely the same with the Makita being the clear leader here, okay? So let's go take a look at the numbers a little bit more in general, right? So out of the three SDS rotary hammers we have here, the Boss GBH 18V-45C actually hits the hardest per impact, right? Hitting at 9.3 foot pounds of impact energy, then followed up by the Makita, which is 8.4, and then the Metabo HPT, which is at 7.7, .7, right? But if you calculate the BPM and the impact force, the work delivered per minute is still actually mostly delivered by the Bosch, which is about 25,000. Uh, then the Makita, which is 24,000, uh, and then the Metabo HBT, which is 22,000, right? So um, there is a little bit bigger gap difference there between the Metabo and the Bosch, uh, or the Bosch and the Makita, since those are 22,000, or that one's 22,000 versus the 24 and 25,000, right? So the leaderboard looks like the Makita, the Bosch, and the Metabo, but if you go take a look at the SDS Plus leaderboard, uh, the for the SDS Maxis, the Metabo is actually in first place, then followed up by the Bosch, then followed up by the Makita. So it's almost in reverse order using the smaller bits, okay? Uh, so that's an interesting thing to look at. Um, you know, the thing that you really want to take away here is to use the right tool for the job, okay? So these tools are obviously beasts and really big tools and heavy duty, heavy hitting tools, right? For drilling holes like half inch, these are just too oversized, right? Uh, there's probably better tools to do that with. Obviously, you've seen in previous episodes, but if you step up to a larger bit, these are going to be the better tools for you. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, have a great day. Get back to work and we'll see you guys next time.